Application, La Fabrica Central, LLC, doing business as La Fabrica, holder of a common victualler, all alcohol license and entertainment license at 450 Mass Ave, has applied for a change of manager to Renato Rodriguez and a change of closing hour to 2 a.m. seven days per week. Good afternoon. Could you please state and spell your names for the record? My name is Renato Rodriguez, first name um, R-E-N-A-T-O, last name R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nivia Pina, N-I-V-I-A, B-S in Peter, I-N-A. Thank you. Nivia Pina is one of the owners. Um, her husband, Hector, is here. He's also one of the owners. And I'm sort of standing in for Dennis Benzan, who is the third owner with the flu. We told him he couldn't go. Okay, and your name for the record? Sarah please. Hunt. Thank you. You may all take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so this request is to make you Mr. Rodriguez, well first, to make you Mr. Rodriguez the new manager of record, correct? And you have been an approved manager of record before? Yes. At Moxa? Yes. And if I remember correctly, uh, you left before all the issues with Moxa and actually sent a letter to the board requesting that the board remove you as manager of record, is that correct? Correct. Okay, so that's why in your application it says that you were, that none of the discipline was imposed while you were manager of record, correct? Correct. And that's, it, if I might interject, and that's the same with his work before then at Bijou, which was a big dance hall and bar. It ran very smoothly, that's in Boston. And things have been running very smoothly since uh, Mr. Rodriguez has been at La Fabrica. He, he's only been there two months. Prior to that, there were some problems, but nothing like you would find at Monroe or at Naja. Okay. This is a completely different animal. And I do note that um, we got notice from the ABCC that there had been an issue, but that night has since stopped at La Fabrica, is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes, no club night, I mean no college night now. And Mr. Rodriguez, are you up to date with the rules and regulations of this board, the ABCC, and the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts with regard to sale and service of alcohol? Yeah. And do you understand that we expect you to stay up to date with those rules, laws, and regulations? Are you TIPS or 21 proof certified? TIPS. Okay. Now who's going to tell me what's the need for the change in hours? I, I would like to do that. Okay. Um, the first thing that the partners all discussed was they have built this incredible new idea in Cambridge and they're searching for a very upscale, professional clientele. And they're getting them. But when they reach out to Harvard and to MIT and to all the local industries, those people who have desires to rent the place for the evening, arrange a dinner for their colleagues, are saying, you know, we don't really get loose from our jobs until 9 or 10 o'clock. And we'd like to have it open until 2 rather than 1 because it only gives them a few hours to really have a social, social minute. And we looked at all of the cases where similar boutique, interesting new restaurants like Fabrica have, they're open till two. So we're competing with a big market in Boston that's already had hours from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. We're still at 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. So to be fully competitive and reach out to that clientele that is, you know, a little bit safer, a little bit smarter, interested in bringing their families to the restaurant, there's dancing and music, but it's secluded to one separate area of the restaurant in the back, monitored by not only a fabulous security staff, but on those nights when there is music and dancing and any kind of crowd question, we always bring in police details. So we have both. Okay, so other than your... Um 
did yeah, your just, revenue, you, which yeah, really is in public speech. need. <laughs> <laughs> which really is in public need. It's mostly because when you try and book the place, if it's a 1 a.m. closing, you really can't book it because people actually want to stay till 2. They do, and they and they have the Sloan School, the school at MIT has already declined a second, you know, booking because of that. Okay. That's, that's simply it. It's just a matter of being fully competitive and reaching out to very much the same clientele. By the way, did you guys submit your um, hearing fee? I have a note here about the hearing fee and it's like the hearing what? The hearing fee is there should be an email. Please bring the fee. Didn't bring it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Okay. Is there okay. a uh, old one? Yeah. You have to go by it so beautifully. Did you know that that? Uh, Fabrica is the building that where all the textiles and fabrics were made years and years ago. And this is sort of the idea is that the partners really wanted to honor all the women that worked in those textile mills there. There go the name. Thank you. Thank you. 